So now let's see how to work around with shapes inside of Adobe Captivate. So over here on the top, you can see that there's the shapes as options where there are a lot of shapes that you can choose from. So let us bring some of them and start working with it. Let's bring in something like a simple one, like the line right over here. So line, line is quite straightforward. You just click and drag it and there's the line right here. And as you draw the shape, you see the, these little dots right here. So you click and drag them right over here. So if you were to click and drag the dots right over here, as you go onto the dot, you see this icon right here, click and drag them and the, the shape can be changed just like this, as you can see. You can go to the properties of the shape right over here on the right side and work around with the style of the shapes right here as well. So you can go with different styles. As you can see, you can change the color of the shape right over here. You can even change out like the width of the shape and so forth. First, you can change the start and end in this line. So depending on the shape, uh, some extra options may be available as well. So you can make it square and you can make it something like arrow right over here, as you can see. So you got an arrow right over there. You can also add in a reflection and so forth. You can add in a shadow and so forth. So the, these are the options for the arrow right over here. If you had to go over here and set, uh, choose some other shape, let's say, for example, like oval and click and drag it, you can see that more options actually come up. You can go over to the basic and change the shape altogether if you want. So you can change it to something like this as well. As you can see, we can stick to oval right over here. You can change its fill color. So you can go for a gradient like color, as you can see right over here, or you can go for a solid color and then choose the color right over here. You can change the opacity, that is the transparency of the shape from right over here. You can change the solid and change out the lines over here as well, as you can see. So you can go for a solid color. You can change the stroke, the width, and, uh, the width of the stroke right over here and so forth, as you can see right there. And over here in fill, you might have also noticed that my, instead of solid, I can choose a gradient right over here, as you can see. So I can go over here and choose any gradient which are pre-existing. Or what I can do is I can go over here and double click this or uh, click this right here, choose another color and create my own gradient. And to create my own gradient, I can click somewhere in between. And if I were to click here, I can add in a third color. If I want to remove the gradient, I'm just gonna click and drag it out just like that. And this is how I can choose gradient in different ways, as you can see right over here. I can choose the direction from right over here. I can also choose a radial gradient by clicking on this one, as you can see, and there's reversing color of the gradient right over here. All of the options are right over here. I can also add it to custom gradients and it'll, it'll be right over here. You can go for different kind of patterns from right over here as well for different type of gradient, as you can see from right over here. So these are the different options for gradients provided from right over here as well. Another thing you can do is do an image fill as you can see. So you can choose different images right over here and then fill it, fill the shape out with an image. You can also choose custom image and click over here and then choose the image of your choice from um, your documents or so forth. Press open and then the editor will pop up. And once you press OK, the image will be there as you can see right here. So right now you cannot see it because I didn't um, edit it out much. I'm just going to edit this out. Right. So I'm going to go over here, go to edit um, image right here, import that out. So let's go for. Uh, something like this itself. Press OK. I'm just going to crop this out. So something like this part right over here and press OK. And you just see that part as you can see right over there. So that's how you can add an image as well. And of course, you got the reflections and everything else. So you can do a bit of designing as you can see right over here. And from the basic option from right over here, you can go here and change the shape as you can see right over there. So as you change the shape, you get some extra options sometimes. So let's go over here and click on this shape right over here. And once you click on that, you can see that now there's a sort of um, a dot right here, which you can actually drag in to change the shape right here. If it is not clear, I'm just going to uh, go for a solid color just like this. I'm just going to go for a solid, uh, let's say, a solid black color right over here for this one. And for fill, I'm just going to change it into solid fill. You'll be able to see it right over here. This little dot is what I'm talking about. If you had to change this out, you can see that you can change the radius 
of the corners from right over there. So these are some of the options that you get as well. So you can go over here and work around with these. These you don't have corners on this one. On this one, you got different options as you can see, and this one is there. So these are the different options provided. So besides that, there are other shapes here as well. So there are something like cube, as you can see, if you were to click and drag, the options, the rest of the options are the same. You got the handle right over here and you can change out the shape right over here by clicking and dragging, as you can see, just like that. You can also go over here and change it to something else like this. So you got options for the shapes over here as well, as you can see. So I can, I'm just going to delete this out as well, see some other shapes. So there, there's something like arrows as you can see so I can make arrows I can drag out the handle right over here to change the arrow and I can go over here and change the type of the arrow right over here as well I can even click on extra and go over here change the arrow change this out as you can see so a lot of editing options are given to edit your shapes right from over here you can also go over here there's like buttons right over here as you can see we're going to talk about buttons in late lesson on how we can utilize them but to uh, change the outlook and everything is the same way again so i'm just going to leave this out as well i'm going to go around here there's scrolls as you can see right over here so you can change this out to increase the roll out right over here and you can change out all the things right over here and change the type of the rule you have as well so you can go around change this out as well so let's go around there's finally uh these math uh, science right over here as you can see and you can change up these out as well just like that and you can go around here and change out the sign as per your liking just like that so that is how you can uh, utilize shapes and work around with shapes inside of adobe captivate so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe